Ronaldo's performance tonight was a disgrace to football. Liam doesn't want me to say this because he's got himself into trouble. It was a disgrace. In what the, sense was it? It was a disgrace of petulance, temperament, throwing himself on the ground at least half a dozen times looking for fouls that he didn't get, claiming two penalties which he didn't get, but waving his arms at other players on his own team. Mm. It was a disgrace to professional We've football. We've seen it before, though. Now, hold on. Yeah. You asked before, was this a, about two great young players, Messi and Ronaldo? Well, if it was, Messi proved himself, after only 45 minutes of football in the last six weeks, to be at least a real pro and a real player. This fellow, Ronaldo, is a cod. I don't care yeah, if he scores. I mean, you can't if he scores, that, I'm telling you, scores. this was a big match. Mm -hmm. If he scores a thousand goals in the Premier League season, to go out and behave himself, in a big match, in a semi-final, the way he behaved himself tonight, right up to the final seconds of the match, he was diving, pretending he was pushed, throwing his hands up in the air, with cutaway shots in there, he's a disgrace. He's a disgrace to the game. Ronaldo is, is the, the classic modern brat. He's a brat of a person, he's the modern player, he's got gifts, he's got no character, no uh, resilience, he's flash. And he'll always do it against the little teams, but you'd, last Sunday when they needed him against Arsenal, he cost them the match. And he'll cost them a lot more match, and he'll give Ferguson a uh, headache. Like him head well, I'm not going to address uh, Niall Quinn agenda. I think Niall Quinn is a creep. Stuart Pearce played with Roy at Notts Forest. So he's a very, very great player. The last season Roy played at Notts Forest, they were going down. Mm. And he had a clause in his contract that if they went down, he could go for a million quid. Mm. Who won the player of the year? Roy King mm. did more than anyone to k try and keep them up. Mm. That's so not true, Ram. He didn't have a clause in his contract to go for a million no. quid. He went to three and a half million in the end to Manchester yeah. United. That's so if he had a clause in his contract, get your facts right. Yeah, my facts are right. I'm a I'm not right. I read facts your book. Are you going to let me talk? Well, you, you want more insults? No, I don't know. So we get your facts right. I didn't say he went for a million quid. I said he had a clause in his contract that allowed him to go for a million quid. Well, why didn't he go? For because there was a bidding war between not for uh, between Blackburn and Manchester United. Now you get your facts right. No, but when he was no, winning all those, I'm not going to listen to that kind of. If you're going to start quoting Bill, but uh, Bill, can, can I can I say some alternative? You know, can I say something? No, no, I'm saying to you, there's an alternative. If you're going, you must recognise. If you are going to quote government journalists calling Roy Keane a cult. You can do it on your own. If you're going to throw Martin and Mother Teresa, you can do that on your own as well. Amen. There's lots of tabloid journalists out there. I'm not going to listen to that kind Fair of stuff. Fair enough. Listen, I, I am saying that written down in black and white in the Sunday Times was that particular... Well, I just say to you... you that I'm not agree with that point. I just say to you, I point. tell you, written down almost everywhere, and certainly in the annals of football, would be tributes to this man. Oh, I agree with that. I agree with this that. This is a man argument for that. who doesn't showboat like Niall Quinn. This is a man who actually goes and sees sick children in hospital. This is a family man with five mm. children who's a credit to his country and to his family. So and I'm not going to listen to him being called a tug by you. I don't, don't want to hear what I Hang on a second, no, don't misquote me. I said that was written. Why are you not going to this? Because I'm saying there's an alternative view. And whose view is it? That's the, that's the view that was... Whose view is it? In the Italian and the Sunday Times. Who's no, Colin? I am saying who. It's on the back page of the Sunday Times last Sunday. Look at it. And who wrote it? I can't remember his name. I'll tell you who wrote it. Ooh. I can remember his name. Rod Little. He's the, yeah, guy, the guy who yeah. ran away and left his wife for a young one. Ah, uh, yeah, come on, no, that's, that's out of order, that kind of stuff. No, it's not. You started it. I didn't. You don't even know who wrote it. <laughs> I know who wrote it. Listen, surely the, the point, nobody is arguing that he has been the great player he is. Nobody does. I think he's a gentleman. No, and he is. He's a class act. Oh, he's, he's a, a rebel. Sir. And he stands up to bullies. I oh, would agree with that. Right. Who shared, but both of you share John's view that this was, uh, this, that you would not be enthusiastic even though you give him the credit for the win. Strongly share John's view. I was hoping in the last 50 minutes that Barcelona would beat them. I've made my mind about Benitez tonight. And I just, we were talking during the match. He's a nice man, but he's got a huge negative streak and he made some bizarre decisions. Liverpool were terrible in the second half. They didn't play football. They didn't approach the match. The second half, with any degree of conviction, and uh, they let it... But they didn't have to, did they? Well, I mean, Bill, we're in the business of judging performances. You know, if that was a concert, you'd boo. <laughs> and that was a game of football at the highest level. Liverpool were terrible. Sissoko giving the ball away. Gerrard, right, found out tonight. 
nothing player. Alonso, never there at all. Only for Carragher. Only for a couple of performances at the back. They were terrible, Bill, tonight. Terrible. And if you can't get a performance on a night like that against a team that didn't even really want to be there, Mm. Where did they go from there? So they gave the initiative to Barcelona. They didn't have to win it. This is the Champions League. This is the, the, the best football in the world right now. The best footballers are in Europe. And Liverpool is a great football club with great teams and a great tradition. And to see that team, you know, fail to live up to their the reputation of that football club tonight uh, against a Barcelona team that didn't want to know was quite shocking. Uh, Gerard, say, you, you keep hearing people say that Gerard is one of the greatest players in the world. Another uh, myth, Alonso, non-existent. Benitez, he takes Bellamy off. Bellamy, one player who could have really hurt Barcelona when they were steaming forward. Uh, he puts Pennant on. When is Jermaine Pennant ever going to be in a team that wins the Premier League and wins the Champions League? Never. John, hold on. These are facts. Yeah, but you can't look at his success and say, well, it was down to... Well, I'll give you another example, yeah. if you want. Australia. Yeah. Australia didn't have to qualify. They just had to play off one match to get to the World Cup against, against Iran. Iran. yeah. Right? They blew a 2 nil lead and went out. So but where is his record? Well, hang on. Where has he was, achieved when anything? When 20 years ago? You, well, it would be a long time. 25 well, he, years he ago? It, he Why are we going for him, John? I accept that. But isn't it the case, John, that because of his extracurricular activities with money. For example... But they, 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 they won't be relevant in the, in the Irish well, context. Well, you're though, wrong, they? Bill, because it will be. All the time he was with Steve McLaren, he was writing a column in the News of the World every Sunday for money. Now, mm -hmm. there's a conflict of interest there. And there oh, was some, of the, with some of the columns embarrassed McLaren, yeah, didn't I they? I agree with that. They did. Yeah. Now, but, but, he's still doing it. Are you telling me that he was assistant manager of his own country and he was still prepared to embarrass them? Yeah. That he's going to come here? The little Correct. paddy land, and not going to embarrass us. Well, I think. ...raised eyebrows at times by certain people, but it seemed to work. I think it works. Uh, I think we should have scored more goals today. Uh, so I'm rather happy that we won. We are in the quarterfinal again. I hope that we will have another result in the quarterfinal than uh, the last time. Well... Did the formation what, was what, was that? what did you say? <laughs> the first time I've seen sex between two men on the BBC. <laughs> Ex explain, please. Well, that was Garth Crooks doing the interview. Oh. He's a hard man, isn't he? That's Garth Crooks. Uh, well, 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 this is a family show. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. <laughs> did the formation work as Crooks suggested? I don't think so. It's laughable, Bill. I mean, this is, why, this is why everyone in the world wants to get rid of them. I mean, on the other hand, we should keep the show on the road, maybe. Imagine if they win it. I heard an interview. I heard an interview. Here's the John Cleese look. Uh, he'll be very, very disappointed. Uh, well, I think that's very understandable, of course. I'd be very disappointed no, if I was this position. No, but the thing is... He will, when he, like well, you've shown that if they had a one tonight, well, that's a good point. No, no, I well, think that's on. terrible. Do that's you? diabolical. It's called, an it's called analysis, Lee. No, that's not it's analysis. It that is analysis. A, that was already in the can yeah. waiting to go out. Yeah, good. Because we are, no, we're based looking. No, 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 no that was based on the body language ba that has been no, spoken about. No, based on the man losing a game tonight. No, that's based on the fact that he seems to be more agitated, and there's an argument. No, the man is to be applauded. And Rafa Benitez is to be applauded, and the game's to be applauded. Hold on a minute. Now, you've jumped over the fence, baby. We're entitled to do our analysis no, the, whatever yeah, way yeah, we yeah, want. Yeah. And, the, and, and Arsene Wenger is subject to analysis, and Arsenal Football Club, the same as every other football well, club. you want there. my opinion why he's behaving like that? I supported Trapattoni's appointment, and I am a friend of Liam Brady's, and so are you, and Tardelli, but I'm not working for the FAI, and I'm not working for Trapattoni. If that was Steve Staunton, or Brian yeah. Kerr, or Mick McCarthy, he'd be getting plenty no. of welly, and he deserves plenty of welly. He's way out of order. He owes those fans, he owes the players in the team to put the best team on the field. He's wrong about Andy Reid. He's wrong, wrong, wrong about young uh, Gibson. He's not a player. Bill. And Whelan isn't much of a player, but the, the young fellow who made his debut tonight is in Manchester United's reserve team, and that's where he's going to stay. He's a nice choice at midfield. Well,